Hey guys, welcome back to Outer Chess. We're trying again to maybe get another win. Last game was close. I think I could have possibly still won that, but yeah, I messed up a little bit. Starting with the clockwork and I have to, I feel like I just have to practice a little bit more right now because I, I've been watching some videos from time to time and they gave me like some ideas maybe for some other stuff that I can do. Um, so yeah, we'll see, we'll see. Good luck, have fun. Oh, this is a nice lobby. Not those try hard uh, queen only lobbies. Oh, here people are nice to each other. Do I want to see who's the highest rank on my friends right now? Oh my god, Rook 7, really? Rook 7? Come on, Rush. Come on. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay. Uh, I haven't checked what the other people started with, but it's honestly not important because everyone changes their builds anyway. Um, I, what? I actually wanted to pick up the Morphling. I think it's actually better than I expected. Um, they already have combined units, Tinker and Bounty Hunter. But I can clockwork, like, I have to pick that. I have to. X? Hmm. Still struggling a little bit with the axe, but he has orc and warrior. Which makes him a good pick because I like the juggernaut a lot. And he has perfect synergy with that unit. So let's check the other people. 2x, x, tiny. Wait, does this guy have only. Oh no, he has a bounty hunter, okay. Bounty hunter t 2. Chaos and Enchantress. Ogre x. If we missed this guy, Tinker too. Okay. Um. Master of beasts. Two bad riders, but it's too bad now <laughs> because I can't pick them up. I am gonna switch this a bit, a little bit. Um. Put the axe in the mid, clockwork here, and the beast mass a little bit on the side. Void stone. This, they got buffed a lot, right? Used to be 50%. Okay. What is this? Okay, interesting, but hard to get, I guess. Need the ultimate op for this. And you need a mystic staff. Which I guess you can get as a drop super late. Well. Okay, another Tinker. A Queen of Pain. That I want to use. And I will get rid of the Clockwork, I guess. Don't like to do this, but... I feel like these units with the orc synergy have some good tankiness. The Queen of Pain is simply stronger. Um, oh, this is gonna be hard. Then was on a tier 2 bounty hunter. I'm not even getting my ult out. We ah. lost that one heart. Actually, you know what? We're picking up Tiny. Want a warrior buff at least. This guy lost to me. I wanted him as an opponent. What does he have? Let's see. <laughs> I want to see what he used. Oh, what the hell. All one gold units. Okay, what the hell. Yeah. I was getting the enchantress at least. Cool, cool. Um, put in the clockwork or actually an assassin. I don't have a third assassin though. Uh, that's a lot of options. I kind of want to pick up Luna as well. I have an elf now, right? Mm. I think going elf is an option actually now. Because you have a couple more elves now. In the game. God, I have no chance with these assassins. Is he level 5? Wait. 
He's level 5. Okay, well. I'm getting destroyed. Maybe I should not go for all these elves. I'm picking up the warrior instead. <laughs> the three elf bonus isn't give, gonna give me too much, like... No, not this early. Not not going for elf bonus this early. Not helping. Second Beastmaster, okay. I haven't seen any druid yet, so... Even even if I had a druid, for you on tier 2 sucks. Super bad. Um, Tusk? Maybe I should just level up here. Not sure yet if I go for the goblins or not. Mm. I guess it would have been the best if I leveled up here. I have a lot of trash now. Yeah, well. Yes, Goblin Buff, that's not gonna actually. We, we killed his Shadow Fiend before he got his ult, so. Not that bad. But we're still gonna lose. Getting the Beastmaster T2 would be amazing. We're going for a loose trick bonus for now. Hmm. It's okay. We're not taking too much damage in the beginning, so it's actually okay if you if you lose the first couple rounds. Because you're really not taking too much damage. Like in five rounds I'm probably taking as much damage as I would later on in one wave. Oh, a lot of three gold units. I don't know, I could go for the assassins now. I actually want to try the new Slark. And disarming. Oh, he's disarming as well. Oh. oh. Oh, this guy has two tier two enchantress. That's a lot of healing, but I feel like this guy wants to go for losing streak as well. Like he's he's actively trying to go for it. And he's kind of doing it good, I guess, because now I I lost. Uh, I I won. I I lost my losing streak. That's what I lost. Hmm. I, I don't think you think that I'm strong or anything. The normal losing streak bonus from me. Okay. I'm gonna find our way. Okay, there's the clockwork. So that option is possible. I haven't seen a timber soil. I haven't seen a bounty hunter. That kind of sucks. That's juggernaut. The Abaddon is honestly not bad either. Two undead units also. But I could even go for the Hunter Synergy. Then I would have to completely change up my build again, but I would have to sell the Tinkers. Use the Abaddon. Okay, so we are winning now again. Okay. Wait, did this guy actually... Oh, he won, so he lost his losing streak as well. How did he win against me? What? He won in the defense. Okay. I guess we're going winning streak again then. There is my third Queen of Pain and my third Tinker. Okay. I guess... Beastmaster is... Uh, Gonna get removed now. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I need to place the Queen of Pain more central, to be honest. Yeah, this guy will be tough. He is level six. A lot of cheap stuff. Ah, Nanobots is down. Nice. 
No, no, but it's the passive, the goblin passive. Nice. Okay, we can keep winning like this. Sweet. I could also level up now. I want to go for the winning streak. There's another Queen of Pain. Oh, do I go for the Queen of Pain? Then I definitely can't go for Knights though, to be honest. Nah, not really. Ah, uh, the Tusk as well, and the Slark. Phew. Am I really going for the Warriors? They want to go Mech and Warriors and then Assassins? Here are the golems anyway. I uh, decided to stay level 5. Now usually with, with goblins, goblin, I mean, don't have goblin combo yet, but mech combo at least. And assassins, that should be, should be enough tankiness and all that. I haven't given any item out yet, right? But what is the cooldown on the Queen of Pain? Need to check these things. I can't check them now after the round because you can't select them anymore, but I gotta check now. Um... Six seconds. You're getting this, and you're getting this as well. And I'm gonna place you in the middle. Okay, so Juggernaut. Okay, no warriors. I, I'm keeping the Juggernaut for now, but I'm telling the rest. We can level up as well. I'm putting the Morphling in as well. I, Juggernaut, I, I still want to get a GT2 because. Yeah, it's, it's gonna be fine, but we can't we can't be picking up everything. That doesn't work. But this works right now. This works. Yeah, works. What was the Queen of Pain taking damage from here? Both of them poisoned me. Did they? Did he have a viper? That would make sense at least. Let me see. Which of these units? Po oh, the doom. Doom does damage per second. Twenty seconds long. Hold. Oh my god, that's strong. I didn't know that it's that strong. Wow. Then I might need a demon hunter actually. Oh, the queen of pain. Oh, the beastmaster. Um, instead of the Slark, I'd say. For now. <laughs> I guess I have to pick up the Queen of Pain, huh? I guess I gotta do that. <sighs> Getting a tier 3 Queen of Pain is... I mean, not impossible, definitely not impossible, but... I would be crazy. It would give me so much. We have a win streak now. Losing streak first, then we transitioned very smooth into a win streak. Very nice. And his streak just ended because he had to fight me. Nice. Very good. Yeah, still on three assassins right now. I mean, yeah, kind of weak. Oh my god, Queen of Pain. <laughs> like, really? I'm, I'm really tempted to... To sell the Juggernauts to get the Viper to not fall below 20 gold. But I, I gotta move it in anyway, I guess. So, I have 5 Assassins right now with the stuff on my bank. That's good, that's good. Going for the potential 6 Assassin bonus, but... It's not really worth to go for that before I have like a chess piece. Only assassins is not working. They're just too squishy for this. I have to face him now with the doom. But it looks like I'm gonna take him down. Nice. Doom is doom is a great unit. I've underestimated that a lot. But it's actually pretty good. You know what? We're actually selling one dragon at least, so we get 20 gold. 
And he's losing against that guy as well. Who was that? Panda Cage something. This guy. Oh, so he stopped his losing streak, I guess. <laughs> this guy was on losing streak for very long. He's 59% only. Uh, no assassin. Okay. We'll take that. It's okay. I don't mind. But we have 30 gold, so that's fine. 17 gold. 16. 37. 44. 20. 50. 10. Oh, he's in trouble already. So, they're not crazy. Like, the people don't have crazy much money. This guy's level 7. He was one of the guys who was... Oh, he has 44 gold, though. Wow. Then this could be very difficult against 7 units. Uh, uh, is the Queen of Pain gonna carry? Looks like it. I have no life suit or anything. Oh my god. I'm losing. Oh no, I lost. Uh, that sucks. That's a timber saw. Hmm. I mean... He would replace the Beastmaster for now, actually. Or I go level 7. But that's expensive. It's really expensive. We're we're giving out the chain mail to Timber, so we're gonna sell them later anyway. I'm not gonna stay on Max. Oh yeah, this is perfect. The Queen of Pain is gonna hit them all with the ult. And the second ult. Should be good enough. And we have the mini stuns on the clockwork. Wait, who got the buff by the way? Okay, the unit that got the Nanobot buff apparently uh, died already. Morbid Mask. Two Morbid Masks and a several Wizardry. Nice. Wait, I have this item, right? I have the Kaya. Oh yes, I do. On the Queen of Pain I have it. Oh yeah, this is, this is gonna be great. And she's gonna get Lifesteal as well. At least one item. Um, I want that Timber Saw. And Kaya also the Anti-Mage. I don't think I can pick the entire... Nah. Ow. I can't. What I can do is I can at least get level 7 for next round, but... Yeah. Too much stuff on the bank. Too much stuff I could possibly combine. Like the second Templars, uh, Phantom Assassin, then two Slarks. Two Queen of Pains at the moment. A tier 2 Beastmaster, which honestly I want to put in immediately again as soon as I'm level 7. Is that tier 3 enchantress? It is. Oh yeah, um, I didn't change my build after the wolves, that was a minor mistake. Because my build is not working that way. No, not working at all. Ah, uh, there's another assassin. Let's do level 7 first. Build it again the way that we wanted to. Mm, this one relatively far in front. But not super far in front. Like this. One in the middle. This one on the flank. And pick up the assassin. They can't see what I'm uh, picking up now. And I can barely see it as well. I don't like that the Queen of Pain jumps that far. Can't change it, I guess, huh? But she deals insane damage with her ult now. Because the enemy has like no magic resistance. But I need her to to get some more aggro, kinda. It is Raptor. 
Mm. I don't think I'm going down the. I don't think I'm going down the uh, Oryx anymore. Bounty Hunter is an assassin. Would fit perfectly into our build. I don't know what to sell for this. Probably a Slark. I have two Slarks already, though. Um, how many assassins do we have? One, two. We have three extra, so we can get rid of. We're getting rid of the Slark. Because if I can put in the bounty hunter instead of one of these um, other goblins, then I still have the goblin buff and extra assassin as well. Yeah, right now it's really the problem with the Queen of Pain. I wish would take some more aggro. Because she's super strong. Look at her, she's she's almost solo carrying this. If she wasn't getting this arm tier. Oh my god, look at this, look at this. You see how much damage the spell does? The spell does more damage than it says here. Because the enemy has like minus magic resistance. This is crazy. Queen of Pain is going to be so strong. Sand King as well. Uh, is Sand King really stronger than the Morphling? Morphling has a good ult. I think it's better. So in case you don't know what I have right now, that's the second timber saw. Um, but if I can combine the bounty hunter, then I'm getting rid of one of those units anyway. The Ricky, which is a satyr. Two bounty hunters, two queen of pains, a sand king, and the second phantom assassin. Oh, now the queen of pain is in a good spot. Oh, never mind, that was the phantom assassin. Do I have to put the... Queen of Pain, where the Phantom Assassin is. <laughs> okay, I lost that one heart. That was nice to watch. Uh, a second Ricky, two Queen of Pains. Honestly, this, this Ricky bullshit is kind of annoying. I'm gonna put her here now. Uh, it's really annoying. And I can't see his... Oh, I can't see his ability. Oh yeah, that's... Oh yeah, that, that, I'm right. That, that's just the, the class bonus. But it's driving me crazy. <laughs> it's so annoying. Uh, I can't pick up a second one right now. Or actually, you know what? I can sell the Sand King. Because I'm planning to get the uh, Templar Assassin anyway later on. Oh, I'm actually losing this. Oh, that was close. It was really close. Okay, don't have any of this yet. There's another Ricky. And the Sand King. <laughs> and a Morphling. Well, we can just level up here and we move in the second Queen of Pain. I didn't see the, the position now if it was better. Otherwise, I might just want to like have to check. But I'm currently sitting on seven Queen of Pains. If, if I get this to tier 3, that's insane. Now with these items, can I just combine it? No, I can't. But it's so strong already. Now it's always jumping to, to this place. Did my Queen of Pain actually die? Oh. Still winning. These master carries. Hmm. I'm gonna try to place the Queen of Pain way closer now. Oh, there's not a Queen of Pain. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, that is so insane. One more. One more. Oh 
<laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. That is so good. I might as well just give her the second morbid mask. Okay, she's staying like this. Okay, that's actually fine though. Because she should do good AoE this way. She's dealing so much damage with AoE. She honestly deserves a second Morbid Mask. And the Mitral Hammer as well. She deserves everything. I need to see now actually um, how many item spots I already uh, used up on her. Like I can't give her... Oh my god, there's the last Queen of Pain. I can't give her the, um, the, uh, the stick item. Queen of Pain. <laughs> I can't believe it. Um, this one. I don't want her to ever get silenced. That would be horrible. But this item does not combine to anything bad, right? I could give this to her. I could. I don't have to. <laughs> Queen of Pain is really good. I need... I honestly need to place her in the first row. I need her to just take damage and use like her ult and it, it, it deals so much damage like just wow. <laughs> uh, oh there was bounty hunter. Oh my god. Good that I caught that with my uh, eye there. We, we can change our um, lineup now. Please the timber saw. Oh. Like we can put this in now, have another assassin, and move out for now the timber saw. Putting the Queen of Pain in the middle now. <laughs> oh, this is so insane. Another Viper as well. Uh so right now I have five assassins. Yeah. If I get to level nine, it's GG. Well, it's not GG, but we'll have six assassins, which is even better. I wish the, the, the normal spells would also be able to crit. I would just one-shot everything. But, yeah, the problem is, if my Queen of Pain is not taking any damage or anything, or if she gets, like, silenced or disarmed or whatever, then this is happening. So we probably still want her to jump in. Is it a tier 3? Wait. Um, critical this guy. Was it a tier 3? No, that's a tier 2 race. Right? Okay. Um, another morphling. Can we level up here? We, we can. Oh, it's, it's harpies. Mm. Wait, is the Morphling our last assassin right now? 23 for 5, 6. I've, I sold one of my assassins then. Hmm. And I'm gonna have 49 gold here, which is kinda bad. But I don't want to sell the timber saw. Plate mail. Yeah, honestly, we need we need that Queen of Pain to tank. If we can get this item on her, that would be, that would be, then the game would be over, I guess. Unless we have a doom against us or something else that can like silence us or whatever. But that would be insane. Can I please get the last timber cell so I can move out the tinker? Annoying. Do I have any other items on any other units? The timber saw had one, yeah. Oh, it has one that I need, actually. Nice. Um, let's pick up the Orc Shaman, since I have a Beastmaster. No specific reason, really. It's not working right now. It is not working. Yes, the new unit, the new undead unit. 
is a lot of hundred units. And I guess yeah, he has at least three warlocks also. The tier two timbers would make a big difference. Okay, and at least we can get the tier two viper now. We can honestly start re-rolling, and we should definitely start re-rolling. Dragon Knight, Templar Assassin. Oh yeah, that's what I wanted to to use. Um, instead of the not the Morphling. There's a lot of assassins in the game now. I think at least nine, maybe even more than that. I have to move out the Beastmaster. It's honestly, it's not helping me at all. I don't know what I even have it for. Stop being disarmed for silence or whatever. Okay, I'm winning again. That's good, but... We kind of have to start re-rolling. Because there's way, we, we have way more potential. Way more potential. And we are 38% already. Hmm. But I, I, this, this Ricky guy is honestly just super annoying. I'm just gonna put him in now. Because it's making it hard for me to see as well what I have. I'm just gonna put him in. Okay, I have the Phantom Assassin here. Nice. About time I get those combos finally. Got a Viper. Give me a Ricky. There we go. Honestly, want most of my assassins to actually tank. Oh, there's a Timber. Oh, the Timber saw. Yes! And we can move out to Tinker, who doesn't fit into this build at all. The Clockwork, okay. But the other units, I don't know. Not dealing enough damage now. Like, the thing is with my assassins, I have no frontline. And I'm just giving his backline a lot of mana. Okay, we're selling this because we're not gonna use those units anyway. We're selling the Tinker as soon as we can. And I think we're going level 10 as well. We're just gonna click completely mad. Because then I can actually use the timber saw as well, but I don't. I'm, I don't want to lose now, <laughs> because that actually might happen. Um, just because we didn't use our gold, who we'll gets the damage item? Mm. The Phantom Assassin. Gotta at least survive until wave thirty. To get some more items, Templar Assassin. I'm just, I'm just using my gold now. I don't want to die with gold in my bank. And I mean, I'm level ten, so yeah, I can put in the second Viper for the Tinker now. I don't, I don't really need to Tinker. Like, I have four Goblins, three Max. That's not bringing me anywhere. Okay, another Templar Assassin. Oh my god, that is... Honestly, I should have a good chance of winning this game. I should have. Because the unit luck is kind on my side. I got the Queen of Pain tier 3 really early, right? Well, we'll see. So what is my weakest point right now? Probably, in general, all the goblins, right? That we have a bounty under tier 2. I mean, ah, I need... I, I kind of like having the goblin combo, though. Look how we destroyed this wave. That's usually a good indicator, isn't it? Okay, who needs mana? Oh, there's another item. Another morbid mask. Uh, I think the Templar Assassin wants that. How much is the cooldown? Six seconds. Yeah, she's gonna get the crown as well. Another beast master. Mm. Another Templar assassin. I can only pick that up though if I win. Honestly, the beast master doesn't fit. If we get like a tight hunter or something like that, 
we'll remove this or a Kunkka even. If we get some kind of CC, we're getting rid of the Beastmaster. He has no synergy right now. Nothing. <laughs> so we might as well get another unit that is super strong with no synergy. We should win this. The Queen of Pain isn't hitting anything. I don't like that. I really don't like that. Do I have to place her more to the right, maybe? I'll do that. Three people left. So this game didn't go that bad for us. Nice. Um... Or we put in the... Oh no, we have a demon already. Can't do that. We could buy the techies and use them instead of a clockwork. That's also goblin mech. Which does a lot of damage. It's a 5 gold unit at least. It should be better than a tier 2 clockwork. Maybe not better than a tier 3 clockwork, but I don't have a tier 3 clockwork, so... Yeah. Okay, the test now. This is the rank 1 guy right now. He's level 10, he's level 9 still. So he still has more potential than this. And he's already winning. Oh, detonate please. Okay, at least I'm not losing here. Uh, he's also winning in the defense. That's bad, that's really bad. I mean, Techies is better though than Clockwork, or? Should be. But I would prefer some CC. I'm not getting any CC. Not a Viper, which I guess I want to pick up. Uh, I think it's mainly the way I placed my units. I, I really don't know how to place the Queen of Pain. Either it's She's jumping way too far behind. This should be fine though. Oh, she's jumping to this side? Is that because my other assassins are already uh, on the spots where she wants to go? But at least the techies was in a, was in a better place here. I'm actually able to win this. Hmm. Oh, this guy lost to me. We still have hope, but it's the one we won now. And 1v1 means that with one bad round, it could be over. Why don't you just give me a damn tight hunter? I'm not getting any CC. Another Templar Assassin and another Viper, okay. Templar Assassin tier 3 is far away, right? But a Viper... A Viper tier 3 is only one away. I need to actually check how he's building now. Yeah. The way he's building... I'm not sure if I can really react to his build right now. I need to be mostly careful of the Doom. Who... Was not able to use his ult before my Queen of Pain got hers. Kinda wanna... You know what, I kinda wanna just survive one more round. And then have the AI round and maybe get some of the items, but over. GG. Damn it. I think with the units I had, I should have been able to win this game, but my positioning was not on point yet. I was not able to get that Queen of Pain in a spot where it would actually be just using its its ult in the best possible way. That would have been great. Well, anyway, I hope you guys still enjoyed that. I'm uh, slowly ranking up again. Night 8. Oh god, I'm, I'm really bad, I know. Um, yeah, see you next time. Bye-bye.